Are you looking for an app for your iPhone or your iPad that can convert any audio file into an MP3 file? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you an app that does exactly that. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. So if you're into your audio recording on a mobile device, then consider subscribing and catch up with all the latest tips, tricks, and tutorials. But for this one, we're looking at how we convert our audio over to MP3. So let's jump in to the iPad now and take a look. So here's the situation. We have a WAV file here. This is my new song, Wasting My Time. I can tap it, I can play it, I can do things in here, but because I'm in iOS, I can only convert it into M4A file. What if I wanna convert it to an MP3 file or another file type? Well, here's how we do that. So I'm gonna tap and hold on this. I'm here in my files app, I'm gonna tap and hold, and now I'm gonna tap the share button here. And you can do this with any file from pretty much anywhere within iOS and on your iPhone and your iPad as well. Now, when we get these options up here, what I'm actually going to do is instead of saving it to files, I'm going to scroll across here and I'm going to send it to the Voice Record 7 app. Oh, what's that? You don't have Voice Record 7? Well, let's fix that. Let's go over to the App Store and download this and show you how we can get set up. So let's head to the app store here. We're gonna type search and we're gonna type in voice record and the number seven. So this is gonna take us to the voice record seven app here in iOS. And you'll see here that I've already got it. So I can just tap open. If you don't hit the get button and download it. There is a full version you can see there, which is $11 here in Australia. It's about $7 US and that just removes the ads. But the good news is that voice record pro seven has complete functionality. It's not limited. So you can still do everything. You just have to look at some ads. So now that we've got that app downloaded and installed, let's return to our process already in progress. So once again, we've shared this file, we've scrolled across, we're gonna tap on copy to voice record seven. This is gonna open the voice record pro app and it says, there you go, that file has now been imported. We're gonna tap okay and here it is. We can tap on it and we've got all of these options. If we just wanna play it, we tap play and it will start playing here. Now it's got a bit of silence at the start, but if we bring it across. So don't take it's playing and it's sounding good. So we can play our files from here and there's a heap of other options that we can do here. Some very cool things which we'll cover in future videos. But the one that we want is the file conversion. If we scroll down on this, there is a convert to MP3. You can tap on that. It'll use some default settings and it will export it. But some of those settings may not be what you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap advanced converter here and it's gonna pop up some options. So the preset that we want here is convert to MP3. And what we're gonna do is tip the file format is MP3 MPEG. We're gonna leave that as is. The settings here, let's just change this to manual because what we wanna do is make sure it's gonna be at the right sample rate. So the sample rate you generally want is 44,100, which is defaulted to here. And then the bit rate, you can choose whatever you want here. So if you want a really small file, you can go for something like 160 or 128 kilobits. They're sort of the old school standard mp3 or we can press the plus here to increase it all the way up to 320 which is a maximum bit rate for an mp3 so i suggest if you've got the space go for that one so there we are we're good to go we can now tap on the save option here and save it as a preset if we want to make this a new preset for us so let's just call this high quality mp3 so that we can use this for all of our future conversions and hit OK. But to convert the file, we just tap on this convert button in the top right here. Let's tap on that now. It's now going to take the WAV file and it's converting that over to an MP3 file. So depending on the size of the file, this will take anywhere from a couple of seconds to about a minute. So let's let this finish and then I'll return and show you what we do next. And there you go, record has converted successfully. So we can tap OK there. And now when we tap the back button here, you can see that we have not only the WAV file, the original one that we have there, but we have an MP3 file here. So it's the exact same length file, but it's an MP3 format. So if we tap on this one and we're good to go. So that is a great way to convert this. But where has it saved this? And what if we want to bring it back into our files app? Well, what we do there is something a little bit strange. If we come down here, you'll notice 
notice that we have something called activities and airdrop. So we can airdrop this to another device, but if we tap on this one and select audio, so over here on the right, we'll tap audio, we can now save this MP3 file back to our files app. So let's tap save to files and it will bring up our very familiar little box here. And there it is, it's our MP3 file. We'll tap add and now it's saved it back to that original GarageBand folder. If we wanna check that, let's go back to our files app and take a look here. So if we're on, on my iPad, we go to GarageBand, there we go. There is Wasting My Time. There's the original WAV file and there is our MP3 file as well. So now we can use that. And the good news with this is that we can export and import from and to any app. Just using that share sheet, making sure you hit the share, you can actually send your files all over the place and make sure you have your MP3 file to use in whatever application you want. And there you go, I hope you found that useful. A very cool app for a lot of reasons, but especially for this one to convert to MP3 and other audio file types. If you'd like to check out some more videos about how to manage your files in iOS, there's two linked right down below. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner, and I'll see you on the next video.